Hello, Meat Week is coming. One of the major prizes is the plan for the Pepper Shaker. So let me review it for you so you can see if it's something that you might like. But first, what is the Pepper Shaker? It's a unique weapon that's both a shotgun and a heavy weapon. It's an automatic shotgun that combines the features of both types of weapons. And because of that, you can take advantage of both shotgun and heavy weapons perks at the same time. It also has a spin-up time like a minigun. But once it's shaking, it will pepper whatever you point it at with pellets. That's why it's called the Pepper Shaker. You can buy the plans for the mods with gold at the Settler or Raider Vendor once you've got Ally Reputation. One of the more interesting mods is to change the ammo to use fusion or plasma cells instead of shotgun shells. That gives the weapon an energy component for more effective damage and changes the look of the shots to energy rays. You can shoot faster with a jewel and hex barrels or you can use a single barrel to get 8 extra pellets which is very useful for when you really want to focus on crippling enemies. And crippling is absolutely one of the best ways to use the pepper shaker. The enforcer perk for shotguns gives you a good chance to cripple on each pellet. Many shotguns get a much higher chance to cripple enemies than most other guns. Combined with the high clip size and fast firing rate, it makes the pepper shaker superb at crippling enemies. The only downside is the spin up time, which unfortunately means that you can't react to a new enemy as fast as you could with a normal shotgun. But once you've spun up, you'll be leaving a horde of enemies legless without breaking a sweat. Or against a strong enemy like a Scorch Beast, you can use it to cripple its wings and force it to land. There's actually a surprisingly large number of enemies that are vulnerable to being crippled. Try a shotgun against a Deathclaw and you'll see what I mean. Multiple pellets means that, like all shotguns, the damage is divided across all the pellets. And pellets have spread, so many of them miss the target, and each pellet that hits has to penetrate armor individually. That makes the effective damage you do less than with most other weapons. So as a damage dealer, it's not top tier, which is a problem shared by most shotguns. Changing to energy ammunition helps a bit, but this weakness becomes more pronounced as you fight stronger enemies. One way to get around this is to use bats. Bats shots make all pellets hit or miss together, so the pellet spread is not a problem, and the bats critical makes up for the armor penetration issues. The Pepper Shaker is decently costly in VATs, so it fires too fast for every shot to be a VATs shot, but it's a great option when you really need to focus your damage. A bit of a problem is that the Shaker eats ammo like it's candy, so don't expect to be able to use it as your daily weapon. It's best to collect extra ammo by using other weapons or the ammo converter and then pulling out the Shaker for those situations where it's going to be most effective. Overall, the Pepper Shaker is a fun specialist weapon. It's amazing as a crippler, so if you find yourself facing a powerful enemy, it's not a bad idea to pull it out and destroy their legs. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.